Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a color changing app where you can choose the color that you want. Th this is very crucial as many games will use this, like cho choosing a color for something using RGB. So let's get started. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to open up Simulator. And once it loads, we are going to open up the app. The app itself is quite simple. You press this to change the color and you can use the sliders to choose RGB. And if you see, if we do all red and all green, it's going to give us yellow. If we do all green and all blue, it's going to be turquoise. And then if we do all red and all blue, it's going to give us purple. So that's basically how it works if you understand RGB. Let's get started by opening up Xcode. And we're going to create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application. And we're going to call it color chooser. Notice I don't really use names really well. So let's go to main.storyboard and we're going to drag in another view controller. Make them side by side. We're going to make a we're going to make a button on the first view controller. Make it in the middle and it's going to be change color. That way we have it there. Then we we're going to have a view just a normal view to display the color. You can't see it normally, but there we go. If we just select this area, we're going to select it. Then we're going to add in our missing constraints. Then we're going to go to this view controller. Now we're going to have a button at the bottom that says change color that will send us back to the first view controller. And then we are going to have three sliders. Notice that this tutorial is a combination of three things. Sliders, passing data, and segues. Well, technically, passing segues and, and data and passing data and segues are basically the same thing. Because passing data does involve segues. Well, there's two ways to pass data, and I had tutorials on passing data. So this one's going to be red. This one's going to be green, and this one will be blue. That, and then we will add the missing constraints, and and we have a warning over here that says unreachable. So basically, what they mean is this view controller right here is unreachable. We can do that by attaching an action to change color by control clicking to this one or right clicking right click holding and then we're going to click action to show so that means every time we click this button it's going to go here now let's go now let's create a new file for the second view controller this one by going to file new file or just choosing command n view controller 2 just save it and here we go it, look, it looks like it's in the wrong spot so we'll move it we're going to select the blue go to information select the custom class and it's going to be view controller 2 that way these this file and this view controller are linked together now let's add in all the outlets we're going to do that by going to the assistant editor We'll close off these two tabs because we do not need them. So change. So this view will be linked up to here, called uh, color view. And then 
we will switch to this view controller. Let's link up this this slider. Nope. So this slider will be linked up to there, and it's going to be the red slider. Then this one will be the green slider. And then this one's the green slider. Then we will have the blue slider. And then change color will not have an outlet. But we're going to make a menu se manual segue from here to here. And then we have to change the properties of that. So we're going to open up the utilities tab and the identifiers change color. That's where, co that's where segues can come in. So let's go out of the assistant editor and go back to view controller and view controller two. And here in view controller, we're going to define two variables or three. The um, red bow, and it's gonna be a float, and then we're gonna create a green bow, and that is also float, and then we're gonna do the blue bow, which is also a float. And notice that they're set to zero, so that, that that means that the view will always be black when you first open up the app. So background color equals UI color, and then red, and then we open up that. And then we do the red, green, blue, alpha. Red will be red vowel. Green will be green vowel. Blue will be blue vowel. And alpha will be 1.0. Notice we're going to get a few errors on here. We can just fix it by pressing, pressing the error and pressing enter. And then all our errors are fixed. It's just converting the float to a CG float. Now let's go back here. And we're going to do the segue stuff. So let's go to here. Delete this part. So if segue.identifier equals change color. Is that what we called it? Maybe I'll check. So if we go back here, we check this segue. Yep, it's change color. Then we will say segue dot destination equals destin equals. Here, let me check. If we go back to this code, we'll see. So that's segue.destination. Oh, so what we have to do is we have to do var destination dot equals segue dot destination as view controller destination which I spelled wrong dot red val equals red val red slider dot value destination dot blue val equals blue val dot blue slider dot value destination 
dot red val, I mean green val equals green val green slider dot value. That way, whenever we do the segue, it's going to send the data. But how exactly will we execute the segue? What we can do is we're going to create an IB action. And we're going to call it change. And we're going to do the, as usual, sender any object. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll do self.perform segue with identifier, which is change color and the sender is self. That way, it's going to execute the segue every time we execute that. And we're going to set change color to the action. Change. And now we have it. Let's just test it out. Wait. The f wait. Yeah, we haven't. We have to check if everything is linked up. So we're going to select the view controller. And we see that all actions have been connected and all outlets have been connected. Let's switch to this one, which only has one. So there we go. Let's test it out. Loading, 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 loading. And there we go. See, change color. Change color, and it's white. So if we do that and that, it's going to come up as some kind of green. So if we do that, it's going to be a little darker green. So basically, if you understand RGB, you'll understand how to use this. It's going to be entirely green. So guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think you will. It's basically an add-on for if you're like gonna make, make a game where you can choose a color, and then and then you can use a color to do all sorts of things, like maybe a drawing drawing one where you choose a color, and then it will display the color. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you see it in other videos. Bye.